All right, we had some people asking about how to uh, latch down your rock guard. And uh, it's very difficult to find latch pieces, so this is what we're doing. Here I bought uh, ever built self closing gate latch. This is what comes in the package, the latch itself. This piece that would go on the gate, we don't need that. And the screws. Okay? Then to make sure it stays closed while you're going down the road, using these lynch pins. And I use this quarter inch inside diameter piece of rubber hose to go over the latch points on the rock guard so that it doesn't rattle and it closes securely with the latch. So the first thing I did is took the rubber hose and cut it about an inch and a half. I slid it over the latch point right here, put a little bit of oil in it so that it would slide over. You can put the butyl tape on the, the back of the latch and you just put it behind here. Close it over there and you got your point where it's gonna line up. And that's where you wanna screw it on. We'll go to the other side, you can probably see better cause there's more light. You can see it a little better on this side because the garage door is open. Make sure you get it to right side, right side up. Latch it over top of the rubber. You see it fits there pretty good. Set it up against the trailer where you want it. And then you screw it in. Okay, so you just pull your uh, rock guard out away from the door now, or away from the camper now. Take your butyl tape. I'm using one inch butyl tape. My wife cut it in half and uh, I was pressing it to the bottom of the latch to cover the screw holes. So when you screw it down, it'll be sealed and, and won't be any uh, water leakage there. So you do the same thing on the other side and uh, you got latches. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same screws that came with the gate latch we'll just push this up against the yeah let me slide out just a little bit push it up against the trailer and in they go i got it where it's gonna be i can unlatch it and move it out of my way Put the last two screws in. It's like I need an extension on my screwdriver. And as usual, you drop a screw. Third time is the charm. Let me hold that. I got it. Then repeat the steps on the other side. And I'll also show you what else we got going on here. These linchpins I was telling you about. You just slide them right here in the hole. Hook it around like that, it's not gonna come open on you. So then, then your pin ain't gonna fall out. So you'll be safe driving down the road. So we told you how to put our latches on our rock guard here. Now we're gonna uh, put the things that hold it up. I don't know what you call them. Anyway, well, all we did is we had a couple of extra drawer slides and I took and drilled this out to a half inch right here to fit over top of that uh, quarter inch rubber hose on my latch and we got a couple of L brackets it's got uh, 
two screw holes and then another hole and one for each side and we got uh, lynch pins I cut them off drilled a hole through it and put a key in there so that uh, when you stand it up it'll stay in place <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to slip these uh, drawer slides over the rubber that's on the latch. It's a good tight fit so they don't rattle around. Then uh, we'll set it up against the camper at a position where it's going to hold it open. And we'll put it on the other side, same way. like they're both about in the same position I'm gonna line them up here with the uh, bottom of the second window because that's just where I want to put them all right now that we got our uh, drawer slides up here for our window openers we're gonna go ahead we put some butyl tape on the bottom of our L bracket so that when you put the screws in there's no possibility that it's gonna leak uh, you find out where you want to have this Put down there I just decided that at the bottom of our second window from the top is a good place for them to be I stuck that up there and uh, now I think that's a good spot so I'm just gonna slide it over here to hold the rock guard up and I'm gonna screw this in I'm going to be using the four screws that were left over from the uh, gate latches that I put on to hold our rock guard closed. So all the hardware will match. All right, we got. All right, now that we got our uh, drawer slides up here for our window openers, we're going to go ahead. We put some butyl tape on the bottom of our. L bracket so that when you put the screws in there's no possibility that it's going to leak uh, you find out where you want to have this put down there I just decided that at the bottom of our second window from the top is a good place for them to be I stuck that up there and I put this uh, put our hanger here, our door, our window opener here. And uh, now I think that's a good spot. So I'm just gonna slide it over here to hold the rock guard up. And I'm gonna screw this in. And these are the same screw, the, I'm gonna be using the four screws that were left over from the, uh, gate latches that I put on to hold our rock guard closed. So all the hardware will match. All right, we got that on there. Now we just take our hitch pin here, hold up our rock guard a little bit, slide the Prop in, slide the hitch pin through the hole, got our lich pin in there, and then we just put this uh, hitch locking device on here, slide it through the hole, and there it is. Okay, after you... Uh, Finish this side, you just go to the other side, repeat the process. You have both sides done. Your rock guard is nice and sturdy. You get ready to hit the road. You pull your pins out. And me, I'm just going to store my pin right inside here. Or you can store it inside the L bracket, either one.
put my clip in there so it doesn't fall out on me. Unhook the other side. Again, stick your pin in there. Put it up. Let your rock guard come down. Take your uh, Lynch pins that you stored into your latches. Take them out. You got a nice tight fit right there on that piece of uh, quarter inch rubber hose. That's quarter inch inside diameter. It's actually a half inch on the outside. Put that down. Run your Lynch pin through. It's latched solid. Come back to the other side, do the same thing. Lynch pin out. Gate latch down. Lynch pin in. And there. Nice and solid. No rocks gonna go through it. Protect your window. It's not gonna bounce around or make noise. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, I just wanted to do a little update on my rock guard here. I ended up changing from a clevis pin like I got down here to a cotterless pin, cotterless pin. There it is. It's got a little ball on it or detent that pushes in. So this is a quarter inch. So I drilled my hole out to a quarter inch so that when I put the rock guard in the up position, bring the pin up here, got the ball right there. You push it in, stays in. You push the rest of the way in. You're in, you're locked. It's not gonna just fall out. So. Those are called cotterless cotter pins. If you wanted to drill out your uh, gate latch down here to a 3 8, you could do the same thing down here, but I find that the uh, lynch pin works just fine. I'll be in the barn. Uh, thanks for watching.